Welcome back to How To RC. We're working on the Polaris project. I'm going to glue up the tail. Uh, I call it the pylon. Thing that holds the motor up. You got your, your two sides and the center piece. I kind of cheated. I had a piece of nine millimeter here. It makes my wire chase bigger because you have to cut this to create the wire chase uh, for the servo and motor leads. So we can do that. And it's easier to cut the rudder out now. So we're going to glue the pylon members together with uh, 3M Super 77. They make a much smaller can of this, smaller in diameter and shorter. Uh, this one I think cost me about 18 bucks, but I've been using quite a bit of it, so. So now we have to glue, this is a wire chase, this piece is just cut off of here. And then we have to glue these pieces on there, let's see, I'm going to glue that one on the other side. This one on this side, get rid of the writing, it'll go inside. The uh, rudder we don't want to glue, and we need to glue both sides of that. Shake this stuff up. Now if you get a good coat of this stuff on both sides and put it right together, it makes a much more permanent bond than if you let it air out and get tacky and then stick it together, which works just fine. I actually read the label. I'm going to clean the nozzle a little. Okay. So we'll spray that and that. Turn that over and spray it. And spray that. And I'm going to put this on the here. This under here. There's our wire chase from the. Uh, servo leads and the motor leads. You got to make sure that this is is nice and flat and everything's lined up right here because this is going to sit on top of the wing. All right, you're going to need a bunch of strips that go on the inside of the fuselage to give you an increased glue area where the pieces come together. You've got one that goes here and one that goes here on both fuselage sides. I'm going to have to cut those out. They say to make them about three eighths. A little piece of. I'm running, I ran out of six millimeter, so I'm going to use this piece of nine millimeter, and I'm going to cut my strip square nine millimeter by nine millimeter, and that should allow me to round the corners of the fuselage a bit more than the standard. Uh, All right, I got all the strips cut out, and I'll put, them, put my piece of cardboard back up. And these are going to be glued on with the uh, Super 77 also. So I'm just going to put them all right there, kind of close together, and put... a nice liberal coat of glue on it. So we just glue these along the edges. We can get them to stay there. Now I'm just holding this down 
and bending the piece with my other hand so that it's flush with the uh, fuselage side. So this one goes down to the step at the bottom of the hull here and gets cut off. And a different one cut out five of these strips because I knew four wasn't going to do it. All right, here's an important point. You need to make a right and a left because if you put the strips on the second piece, exactly the same as you did the first piece, you'll have two left sides or two right sides. So you have, have, hmm, have to remember that you need a left and a right. So they're going to be book bashed like a book open, opening up. And uh, just a helpful hint so you don't end up with unusable parts. Next thing I'm going to do is glue the bulkheads onto one side of the uh, fuselage. Now you want them to be at, at right angles to the fuselage. This is a, a block that a machinist uses on a, on a lathe, the other thing, milling machine. Uh, my grandfather was a machinist. It's real nice, it's heavy, holds everything down, and it's of course 90 degrees. You can take a piece of, this is a piece of pink foam, do the same job. I'm going to use Gorilla Glue basically to do the rest of the model. And <clears throat> I read the instructions on the Gorilla Glue and it says that if you want this stuff to work in a reasonable amount of time, add some water to one side of the joint. Take the Gorilla Glue and don't get it anywhere near the water because it will ruin it. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Now here's another warning. If you don't think you have enough glue on there, you probably already have too much. I know that sounds silly, but it's the truth. Okay, I want that right there, up against that block. And I'll hold it in place with one of these. Now if you're using a tube of glue like this, when you're done using it, squeeze all the air out and then put the cap on because when you let go of it and it sucks air in, it also sucks moisture in which starts the process of curing the glue. The sanding block. Oh, the sanding block. I wanted to tell you about the sanding block. When you're doing these uh, foam planes like this, one of the handiest tools around is a sanding block with some 150 grit sandpaper on it. Because it'll just take it, it'll smooth that, that foam right up in, in no time at all and uh, make it look pretty. And it's good for doing your, your trailing edges. You know, just a a few seconds with the sanding block and you get a nice tapered trailing edge which is recommended to uh, smooth the air flow out and uh, reduce turbulence and drag. That's all there is to that. You get a nice, you see that, nice um, tapered trailing edge. Okay, now I gotta let that set and the next thing I'll do is glue the other fuselage half onto it.